Bowman here for BW1.com and today, finally, Samsung has announced the Galaxy S3, the third generation in the Galaxy S lineup of phones. I have the spec sheet here, we're going to go over all the specs, the, the key specs for the device, and we're going to see, is it better than the HTC One X that's currently pretty much the best um, Android phone panel smartphone available right now. Uh, quickly going over the Galaxy S3 specs, it does come with a 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED display, so it's going to have 720p resolution on a very beautiful and very large 4.8 inch uh, AMOLED display there. It's going to have a 1.4 gigahertz uh, Exynos quad core processor, so it will have the quad core processor there inside of it. And it's supposed to also have it for the uh, American version as well too, although not totally confirmed on that yet, but it should. It's going to have one gigabyte of RAM. It's going to have, have options of 16, 32, or even 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. And also, there's going to be micro SD card slot available that supports up to 64 gigabytes of storage. It's going to have an 8 megapixel camera with a flash, 1080p HD video capture, and zero shutter lag, which is good too. They didn't list the uh, if it had what the f-stop is on that just yet. It does have a 1.9 megapixel, that'll probably just called 2 megapixel front-facing camera that's also capable of HD video capture, I believe, at 720p. It, um, it supports HSP 21 Plus internationally for data speeds, but here in the U.S. it should be running 4G LTE, which should be running in the markets over here. It has Bluetooth 4.0, has NFC support, Wi-Fi 811.n, and a 2100 milliamp hour removable battery, so you're going to be able to swap the batteries out. Actually, one of the accessories I believe that announced was a... Uh, was an extended battery for it too. And it's gonna run Android 4.0 with TouchWiz on top of it. So those are pretty much the specs for the Galaxy S3 and some pretty powerful specs, you know, that's really on par with pretty much what we're gonna see this year as far as top of the line phones coming out of the Android side of smartphones. Now, let's kind of list the specs with the HTC One X and let's see how well it kind of compares and stacks up to it here. And, uh, the, the One X does have a uh, 4.7 inch Super LCD display that's also 720p um, HD resolution. Has an NVIDIA Tech with three quad core processor in the in, in international versions, but in the US it comes with Snapdragon S4 dual core processor, both from a clock to 1.4 gigahertz. Has one gigabyte of RAM, has um, 16 and 32 gigabyte storage options. I believe 32 gigabytes of international version. I know for the 18T version, which is here, is 16 gigabytes of storage built in, I believe, for the variant uh, Sprint um, Evo 4G, uh, 4G LTE that's going to be coming out. I believe that's 16, 16 gigabytes in there as well. There is no micro SD card slot option, so that's the only way you can get storage physically. You have to, any additional storage, you have to go through the cloud. It does have an 8 megapixel camera, a great 8 megapixel camera, as you saw in our review with uh, 1080p video capture and an f stop of 2.0. And zero shutter lag as well too, so you'd be able to just instantly take pictures. It pretty much is an Android 4.0 feature that a lot of companies are taking advantage of, which is pretty cool. It has a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera with a 720p video capture, HSP Plus internationally, 4G LTE here in the U.S. like the AT&T version and the soon-to-be Sprint version variant that's so coming out too. Bluetooth 4.0, NFC support, Wi-Fi 802.11n. 1800 milliamp hour non-removable battery and runs Android 4.0 with Sense 4 on top of it. So you can see uh, both of these phones really do stack up spec for spec wise. A couple of key differences there that Samsung is pretty much allowing you to get the removable battery, get extended battery if you want to. Even though it comes with a pretty large battery to start off with at 2100 milliamp hours and it also um, has allowing you to expand the storage. So you possibly, I don't know if the US cares itself, but they, you could possibly get a 64 gigabyte uh, on board version of the uh, the Galaxy S3 and then get a 64 gigabyte micro SD card and have 120 gigabytes of storage space on your phone, which is just insane. Um, you don't have those options there with the uh, the One X. I know the One X on AT&T, you, you can get a, uh, a Dropbox account for two years for free to give you 25 additional gigabytes of cloud storage, but nothing you can expand physically there. But I'll let you guys be the judge. Um, what, let me know what you think of the Galaxy S3. Post your comments below on it. Do you think it's better than the um, HTC One X right now? Obviously, we're going to have to get both devices in hand and really do a versus here. This is really kind of a preview just to kind of see what they have, but the software is going to really matter. I know TouchWiz has got a lot of cool smart action features that they've added on to and there's some cool new ways to sort of share stuff instantly and some new social networking options on there. You've seen what the One X has with Sense 4 which is a lot, lot, a lot more scaled down, a lot more simplified than previous versions of Sense and it's been, that, that's been really good and really well received as well too. So really have to get both of them in hand and really see which one's really going to come out, out on top there. So let me know what your thoughts are just by posting it below and remember to subscribe to our YouTube page here, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, circle us on Google+, Plus, follow all our boards on Pinterest, um, invest in us in Empire Avenue. Um, all our social networks are, are in the description. Also, the link to our main website at bw1.com is also in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.